Cor Wetzel says wild story of prostitutes and cocaine told in Cabo is million percent true. The thing about Koa Wetzel is, he's always gonna tell you the God's truth when it comes to his music. He's become quite a polarizing character in the Texas country music scene and beyond, and just put out his fifth studio album, Hell Paso, last Friday. Honestly, it's a bit more subdued, and somehow possibly even more sad, than some of the stuff on albums like Harold Saul High and Sellout, but I haven't been able to get enough of it. For me, the writing and production on this one is way more elevated than on any of his previous projects, which does a lot for the songs in and of themselves. But there's one track in particular that jumped out immediately when I first listened to the album, thanks to some wonderful work from producer Taylor Kimball, that's full of great Spanish guitar and a great melody, called Cabo. I talked about it some in my initial post about the record, and said I'd almost put it in the same group with songs like Sancho and Powerball, simply for the subject matter alone. I mean, wild. It was so wild, in fact, that I thought, this can't be 1000% real. It sounds like it came straight out of a Hollywood script, so I was pretty sure it needed some kind of embellishment for dramatic effect. As Koa's co-writer, along with Aaron Leiter and Nicolette Hayford, Koa himself said the song, which focuses on an insane weekend trip of total debauchery to Cabo, Mexico, is all, 1 million percent true. I have confirmed that, it's a million percent true. I've pissed off a lot of girlfriends and wives, but other than that it's wonderful. Look, everyone, and it's clear from his comments about pissing off his many wives and girlfriends that he probably annoyed some pals along the way. Ending with a margarita slurp yes, all this actually happened. Reggaeton station playing two damn loud senoritas passed out on the couch wish I knew a little espanol. So I could tell these bitches to go now there's panties on the lampshade mezcal bottle barely half drank freaking out the fucking house made but everybody likes to get paid so she fucked me for my money. The song is catchy and good, but I've always valued the unwavering authenticity and honesty of my voice above all else. He is never afraid to admit all that he has done, good, bad and ugly. I think that's more evident in this collection of songs than in anything he's ever released. I'm sure many other musicians and celebrities have made similar trips to Cabo, but I only know one person who openly shared all the important details and wrote this little song about it. Dot. So I have a hunch that it will be a fan favorite for a long time. Cabo. Koa knows she's not for everyone, but all she wants is for her grandma to make her breakfast at the end of the day. I admit it, this record is going to get a lot of flack, but it's going to get a lot of love too. I'm not going to stop. Hopefully, I go home at some point, kiss my grandma, and she'll maybe cook me breakfast. He's like us. And he sinks deep into a longing to return to Texas and homesickness for another of his early favorites, his Yellow Bush Road, 